Julian, it's been several months since we last caught up, but summarise what's been happening. Three big things here, James, since we, we saw you last. It was the uh, great progress made on the T3 feasibility study. So we're heading towards a 3 million tonne a year, 12 year mine life on that project. Decision to mine end of the March quarter next year. So that in itself is a big step forward. Uh, beyond that, we've also expanded the resource at T3 by 44%. We've increased the amount of indicated resource within that. So altogether, we've upgraded that one project. Um, outside of T3, the breakthrough for us has been really being able to explore the greater region around T3, what we call the T3 Dome Complex, roughly 700 square kilometres of highly prospective ground, which we're now drilling. So where does the T3 project fit into the, the Dome Complex? T3 Dome, the T3 Mine sorry, project sits pretty centrally within the T3 Dome Complex, uh, and it wasn't until after the discovery of T3 that Airborne electromagnetics was flown across T3. Uh, that defined T3 as sitting on a large dome, large dome structure. Since then, additional EM has been flown and defined many other domes that look similar to T3. So with great excitement, we started drilling back in uh, May this year and had immediate success on the first dome we tested, which we now call the A4 dome, eight kilometres west of T3. Tell me why you are doing so well with your hit rate. I think the breakthrough here has really been the electromagnetics. There's nothing to compare with it. There's no outcrop, there's no prior drilling. The soil uh, response on the surface is fairly muted. So we found this wonderful geophysical technique not only defines domes, it tells us the internal structure of those domes. So the geologists are now learning very, very quickly where to target within these large domes to hit copper. And I think they've made a major breakthrough in this A4 dome, which we hope will become a template for drilling other domes. Talk about two deposits, and, and at a deeper level in particular, what, what's the significance of the, of the deeper level? Below the T3 mine project and at the A4 dome, we've discovered a, a geological contact which we know to be mineralised throughout the eastern part of the copper belt, east of MODS licences, and hosting around about 7 million tonnes of copper, mainly in 2% copper deposits, uh, sheet-like style of mineralisation. We found that below the boat T3 dome and also the A4 dome, and we're very encouraged by some of the intersections. We announced a couple of days ago there a 30 metre intersection of fairly substantial copper mineralisation in this deeper horizon that we call the NPF contact. So the fact that there's quite a substantial amount means that, that the mining doesn't appear as quite as expensive then? Well, we have the trade-off there between width and grade, but we have some substantial widths here in the NPF contact mineralisation. So while our prime contact within the domes is these high-grade vein systems like T3, like we're seeing at A4, uh, we, we also have this bonus almost thrown in for good measure sitting below those deposits and we think that in itself is a very valid and important target. Just summarise it and, and finally looking at what we have now, you know you've got a much clearer picture than you did a few months ago. You must be very confident that you're sitting on a, a fairly extensive area now. Well I think that is the inevitable conclusion here James and uh, our geologists are very excited. Um, we, we can sort of see now beyond T3, we can see maybe beyond A4, and we've ramped up our drilling there substantially just in the last few days. We're now opening up um, a new region which we call the T20 area, it's about 120 kilometres towards the Namibian border to the west of the T3 dome complex. Uh, that in itself has some very exciting uh, anomalies, both in soil anomalies that extend over many kilometres and in EM in the small areas that we've flown. So currently, our first phase there of this new, uh, new exploration event, if you like, at the T20, is to fly a lot more uh, electromagnetics. We're doing a survey currently for around about 950 square kilometres. And I'm just trying to give you an idea of the scale of what we're trying to achieve here. We're not dealing with one mine, one prospect scale targets. We're dealing with regional scale exploration targets. Uh, we have the funding, we have the know-how, and I think now we've got the exploration technique to make it work.